go okay. And you should be in. Once you get to there, where you see session defaults, are you still filming? You just say okay because it just downloads the most recent. Then where you're going to get your reports, go to Smart Finance up here at the top. Then scroll to General and go to Report Selection. Almost all your reports are going to be under Custom Ledger. Oh, I thought they would be over here under General Ledger. Nope, I get them all off a of Custom Ledger. Okay. The one you like to get from me with totals is, mm, I have to find it, these two, this expenditure, revenue, full account, okay. that's where you get your revenues. Yes. And then you like this one here for the expenses because you like them by program. So okay. you like those two. If you want to find out what activity has happened during the year for a particular one, you go to Posted Activity Report. And there you're going to put in what your start period is. So if we're just going to look at this year, we'll go to 2000. Well, let's go last year, 2012 01. 2012-13 because that encompasses the end, the whole year. Right up here we have E for expense. If you want a revenue, here's your choices here. So you, we can choose a revenue instead if you want. Let's stay with expense. Okay, let's stay with an expense. So that's still there. Then do, do you want to do an example oh, fund? Oh, let's do one. Okay, so let's go 01, 005. Should we pick on the superintendent? Yeah, go ahead. I think you're 020. There won't be much activity there. Mm, we'll see. Let's just leave those other things blank. And here, I can make this bigger. You can see the services for the superintendent. All right. What's all this travel stuff? Oh, I, that's... I never go anyplace. Oh, parking, parking, <laughs> meals. All right. Okay. And then. If you want to look at the next page, you just click on here at next page. Oh, you only have one page, so that one doesn't show very much. What if I want to go back and try a different code? Then you go to redo, right here. All right. We should find one that has more activity than that. Um, what's one that you just recently asked me for? Another thing that you should know here is if you click, if you don't know a particular code, mm -hmm. you can go here and you can see what the code oh, might nice. be. That's nice. So let's pick on carry this time. We'll go secondary. Arrow that over. And I know that she's program 050. And let's click create report. This first stuff is all her payroll. And we'll go to the next page. Payroll. Oh, that's a lot of payroll stuff that you don't really care about. Um, this is, okay, this isn't just Carrie. This is um, the whole front office. This is their telephone bill. Mm -hmm. This is Carrie's travel here. Next page. And that's her dues and fees. And this is all last year. You want to do something different? You just go back to redo. How do you close out of this whole thing? This little X right here. No, hold on, where, where are you at here? Right up here. See, there's the X there. Okay. X out of that. And then I will show you something that I use all the time. Ready? So go to Smart Finance. Yes. General Ledger. And then Account Analysis right here. Now this will just show you for this year unless you change your start and your end period. But if I wanted to look at, at this morning Carrie asked me, um, uh, she wanted to know what her travel was. So let's go back and do it for last year. Okay, so we're going to go 2012-01 and then you go 2012-13. And if we want last year's budget, you just go to B12. That doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so if I say it's an expense, I know that it, oh, if you don't know what the code is, okay. you can 
double click on double click on whoops why isn't it doing it hmm oh I know I'm sorry that I do I can do that on someplace else let's say we want to say um, what did we spend last year in um, our federal dollars for 619 because I have a lot of those so this is federal special ed 619 and I don't care about anything except for just that finance code then I click find yeah. and then you can make this big just drag that down this shows all of our special ed for federal last year all the transactions oh, nope this is just the codes if I want to actually find the transaction well these are all the codes and the, mm -hmm. the amount spent right so this shows what the activity is here and what the budget was and if you went over budget yes. or whatever um, if you want to dig down just a little bit further and not have to go into that posted activity report I could go into my federal this is federal purchase services here I can double click on this so I double click Why is it not letting me do this uh, oh I know I think it's because you're a read-only <laughs> I think you can't go into that okay you can't do some of the things I can do <laughs> You can do all the reports. You don't trust me. I do trust you. I, I have to go on read only. Eva <laughs> Sonnabend did the same thing. <laughs> Region 1 did that. <laughs> so, okay, so then anytime you want to X out, it's right there. So, reports is what you're going to use. Smart Finance, General, Report Selection, Custom Ledger, and then you can choose your reports and you'll probably just want to know which ones are your favorite ones and you'll you'll know them right okay okay all right and then how do I close out of this when you want to be done there's a little X here okay you close there and then you go down to the start you click start log off I'll take you back to your main screen okay start log off mm -hmm. thank you Karen you're welcome <laughs>